Stop losing sales to abandoned carts. When shoppers browse, click and add to cart without purchasing, revenue is lost. This video is your fast track to mastering Google Ads dynamic remarketing for e-commerce. Let's go! What is remarketing? Remarketing, sometimes called retargeting, shows ads to people who previously visited your website. When someone visits your online store, Google Ads places a cookie on their browser. This lets you show them targeted ads as they browse other sites in the Google Display Networks or use Google Search, reminding them about products they viewed. Why is it needed for e-commerce? In a fast-paced world of online shopping, distractions are everywhere. Customers might get interrupted, decide to compare prices, or simply forget about the items they were considering. Remarketing helps recover this potential sales by keeping your brand and products top of mind. For e-commerce businesses, this translates into several key benefits. Recovering abandoned carts. Re-engage shoppers who left items unpurchased. Nurturing leads. Guide interested visitors towards conversion with relevant products. Increased brand recall. Stay visible to past visitors through consistent ad exposure. And driving higher conversion rates. Target warm audiences who already showed interest. Two types of remarketing. Static remarketing shows general ads to anyone who has visited your website or specific pages within a set time frame. These ads might highlight sales or brand benefits to past visitors. Though less personalized, it's a straightforward way to maintain visibility and encourage return visits. Dynamic remarketing shows the exact products visitors viewed on your site or similar products they might be interested in. For example, if someone looks at sneakers, they'll see ads for those same sneakers or related styles while browsing the internet. This personalization increases conversion rates by showing highly relevant products. Campaign types that support dynamic remarketing. Dynamic remarketing is built in in PMAX campaigns. For more control over your remarketing, create a dedicated display campaign. Link your Google Merchant Center feed to your ads account, and Google will automatically create personalized ads using your product details. Here's a key requirement. For dynamic remarketing to work, Google must be able to match the products in your feed with the products that visitors viewed on your site. You can add these dynamic remarketing tags to your website in two ways. Either install them yourself or use platform-specific plugins. Here's what I recommend. For Shopify, use the Simprocess product feed. For WooCommerce, use also the Simprocess product feed. For BigCommerce, the Tag Rocket app usually works well. Here's how to check if your remarketing tags work. Tools, Shared Library, Audience Manager, Your Data Sources. Inside the Google Ads tag block, click Details. Make sure EcomProd ID is receiving hits. Let's create a dynamic remarketing display campaign. Select Campaigns, New Campaign, Create Campaign Without Guidance, select Display. For conversion goals, select only essential conversion goals. For most e-commerce stores, focus on purchases. Leave the website link empty. For the campaign name, choose any name. You can change it later. For locations, select your location. Also select presence, people in or regularly in your included locations. This makes sure that the people are actually in the location that you selected. Select your language, click more settings, Check Use Dynamic Ads feed for personalized ads and select the data feed you want to use. For the product filter, I use no filters. Most advertisers will use also this option. Only use option 2 if specific products need exclusion. When done, click Next. Set average daily budget. Bidding. We're focusing on conversions. So we select automatically maximize conversions. I usually don't set target CPA in the beginning. 
You can also manually set beats. It will be essentially manual cost per click. You can also set maximize click strategy when clicking on select beat strategy directly. Next, let's configure targeting. Click at targeting, audience segments, under edit targeted segments, select browse, how they interacted with your business, website visitors. Select product viewers retail, Google Ads or AdWords. This audience is automatically created in Google Ads. I explain it in another video. Unchecked optimized targeting as it would show ads to people outside your remarketing audience. Something we don't need in this campaign. Now let's create a responsive display ad. This asset serves as a backup when product information can be automatically displayed. You can keep this ad pretty generic and make sure it's a good feed for overall business. So we're adding up to 15 images, but don't put too much effort into this. Your product info will show most of the time, not these images. When choosing images, you want to have a mix of what's being shown, but also different ratios. Similar to the image, add a business logo, try to have a mix of ratios, but most importantly, at least have one square and one of ratio 4 to 1. Videos, you can skip this. Add one headline, one long headline and one description. Keep it basic. Or if you don't have info yet, copy something from one of your other campaigns. Click additional format options, uncheck use asset enhancements and use auto-generated video. Click more options and select call to action text. Select shop now from the drop down. Publish the campaign. I add dynamic remarketing in all my Google Ads accounts. To help myself and others do the same, I've created a simple PMAX checklist. The checklist has three sections. Setup, everything you need to start a new account or check an existing one. Optimization, simple steps to improve your campaigns over time. And insights, great for long-term reviews or refining your strategy during setup. I regularly update this checklist with new tips that have worked for me. Download it from the link below and you'll always get the latest version. The goal of dynamic remarketing campaign is to convert visitors that have abandoned their purchase journey. But of course, we want to exclude visitors who have already made a purchase. To do that, open the campaign, add group, go to audiences, click show table, scroll down and click edit exclusions. Select add group. How aggressively you exclude people who buy from your existing campaigns depends on your business. We all have the experience of CNS for exact products you bought one day before, so I would definitely recommend excluding buyers who bought in the last 7, 14 or 30 days. After this period, it might make sense to target them again to allow for repeat purchases. Click Save. During the creation process, Google Ads doesn't give you the ability to add multiple ad groups. So now that the campaign has been published, you can add them. Here are some effective ad groups and audience ideas for a Google Display Remarketing campaign, grouped by intent. Product page viewers, high intent, someone who didn't convert. Cart abandoners, close to purchase, high ROI. Checkout starters, even warmer, just needed a nudge. All right, that wraps up our look at Google Ads Dynamic Remarketing for e-commerce. Remember, personalized product ads are key to re-engaging those almost converted customers. For maximum impact, target cart abandoners and exclude buyers. Got questions or topic suggestions? Let me know in the comments. For more in-depth Google Ads help, book a free strategy review via the link below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.